the cuckoo market day. The sacred day of the month when the moon is full. I hereby present all Ezira women. And I am praying that the blessings of this full moon will follow them from now until the appearance of another full moon. I banish untimely death and still birth in the lives of Ezira women. If any Ezira woman must shed tears, it will be tears of joy. I banish sorrow and agony. It shall be well with them on Eke. It shall be well with them on Orie. It shall be well with them on Afo. And it shall be well with them on Ongwa. He said, Respected women of our land. I mean, what is the meaning of this? Uh, Chief Obidike, our heart is boiling. Yes. So we are not here to greet you. Yes. Okay. Well, I can readily see that you are angry. But I'm asking, what is the reason for the anger? Why are you angry? A great injustice is about to be meted on the women of our land. And we will not let that happen. Well, I am not aware of any injustice that has been planned to be unleashed on the women of my kingdom. It is not planned. Rather, it is an act of carelessness and disrespect on the women of this land. And we will not take it. Seriously, I am lost. Can you people please tell me exactly what you have come to present to me? A strange woman is about to be made queen of a Zira kingdom. And it is against our tradition. Exactly. And that's because there's, there's a sacred role for the queen to perform on behalf of the female folks of this great kingdom on every Ekeoku market day. On Imaro. I think I understand where you people are coming from. I do understand it now. So why have you decided to look the other way? Why are you pretending as if you do not know what is happening? Can you tell me what is it that is happening? I will tell you. Chukuka is about to ascend the throne with a strange woman. And that is against the traditions of our land. A woman who doesn't understand the customs and traditions of our land. Chief Obidike, if the men already sanctioned this, we the women will not let this happen. Yes, yes. 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 And that is why the kingdom will have to look elsewhere when choosing a king for Ezira kingdom. Oh. Yes. Since Chukuka has already fallen short due to his marriage to a strange woman. Oh. Well, uh, I, I understand you perfectly, but I need you to understand that there is always a way that all this Chief kind of... Obidike. Sorry to cut you short, Chief Obidike, but there is no other way yes. at yes. all. Yes. And even if there is another way, Chukwuka must relinquish his position as the chosen king of a Zira kingdom. Yes. 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 Have I spoken your mind? Yes. yes. Have I spoken your mind? Yes. Iwe, Iwe. 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 My gate is always open and that is why they can come in anytime they like.
I have already whispered into the ears of the men that are men. The gods of this land have revealed the one who is going to be crowned as the new king of Israel kingdom. Socially, politically, administratively, one who is going to be the head of this land. So, men of Ezira should be busy planning such coronation. Exactly what we are supposed to be doing is Alice. But unfortunately, there is a problem. Any problem that the gods of this land did not reveal to me should not disturb the minds of the men of Ezira kingdom. However, for the purpose of clarity, I grant an opportunity of presenting such a problem. Okay, uh, as I will say, you whispered the name of this person, chosen by the gods, to the ears of men who are men. I can tell you here and now that some of them are women. How do you mean? One of them must have whispered that same thing you said into the ears of the woman. How, how can that be possible? How can it be possible? Men who are men cannot and will never Tell to the women that which they should not hear. As I say, the women have heard it and they are kicking against it. That is why I urgently summoned all the people that are directly involved. For you to run this test again and name this person who the girls have chosen here and now for us to know. Because kingship in Asia Kingdom is a serious business and we cannot afford to do anything that will cripple our land. Hey, I gather that Chifo BDK gathered the young men from the families of kingmakers for the chief priest to run this election again. Okay. Is that true? <laughs> My dear, the thing is, it's true, but uh, the thing is this. What if the gods did not choose any of the young men selected by the elders or presented before them by the elders. They must choose from one of them. All the young men are from the families of king makers. No doubt, but you never can tell why it took such a long time for the gods to finally speak. What if the gods want someone outside those families. That cannot be possible. The chief priest told us that the gods have forgiven our people for the sins our forefathers committed long time ago that has kept our people from not having a king. Yes. We are saying the same thing, Nena. Mm -hmm. What if what if the gods, they want a neutral person to become the king of Ezra Kingdom. Ijewa, your what if is becoming too much. What oh if, what name. if, what uh, if a neutral person cannot emerge as the king? All the young men that the chief priest selected are from the families of king makers. Where would the neutral person come from, Ijewa? Well, whatever the case may be, I just pray they choose for the liberty. <coughs> How do you know my choice? Hey. He's a nice man and you make a good king for our people. Certainly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah. I have a meeting with Charles Okam and Ogechi. Oh. Ogechi will be waiting for me at Okudara Joshua, so I have to catch up with him. Okay. Hmm? All right, go well. Uh, do well to see me when you return, please. Hmm? Okay. Thank you. Eh? Oh. Sure. Thank you. Eh? Yeah.
Will it be right for me to say that you are resisting the goals of Ezra Kingdom? Ezalusi, I will not be here if I am one of those men resisting the gods of Ezra Kingdom. Well, the reason we are having that resistance is because you have not fully accepted it from your heart. I do not know where this resistance is coming from, Ezalusi. It has been communicated to me that I have been chosen. And I say here and now that I am ready for the job. And on that note of acceptance before the gods of our land, and on the note of acceptance that he is prepared to do the job, before the gods of Israel land, before our great ancestors, I declare you the chosen of the gods. Men of Ezra Kingdom, go and get prepared for the coronation of our incoming king. This is the wand of Anunwebe. This is the ancient and noble symbol, authority. ratifies your selection today. Keep it with you always.
Yamne. Tuto ndabido. What sort of dream is this? Congratulations, my brother. Thank you very much, Adelibe. Thank you. Congrats. I'm so Thank happy you. for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, uh Abonwe. -uh. Yes. Won't you say congratulations to our own Chikoka? Uh, I won't do that. Why? Are you blind? Can't you see that the selection process was tampered with? How? Well, I don't have time for that question and answer. With time, you will know who the real king truly is. You think I don't know what you're up to? We shall see. What's his problem? I, I, I don't know. Maybe he's not happy because he's not the one selected. But we all cannot be king all at once. What is his problem? Why would he say that the selection process was tampered with? Did I pay to be the chosen one? Let, let us not bother about him. In fact, do not worry about him. But why is Abangwe always like this? We're all young men. We're supposed to support each other. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. But don't worry about him. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Man, congratulations once again. One dollar. Thank you so much. Your support means a lot to me. Good people with your kind of heart are the kind of people that we want in the new era. And I assure you that if indeed I become king, you shall become very relevant. I trust you. Huh? <laughs> I trust you. Darling, thank you very much. Thank you. I am not comfortable with the selection process. How do you mean? Selecting Chukuka was a very big error. Are you saying that the gods made a mistake in the assurance of Chukuka? I am not saying that the gods make mistakes. But the choice is wrong. Can't you see that Chukuka's wife is ineligible to perform the queenly sacred duty? Should she become the next queen of Ezra Kingdom? Well, that is what we know as men of Ezra Kingdom that the queen must perform her sacred duty of praying for the women of this kingdom every Ekeukumake day. But who knows what the gods are planning? Are you actually sure that the gods are involved in this? Because the chief priest that we all know yes. can say the gods says this, the gods says that, when the gods have said nothing. Wait a minute. Are you questioning the chief priest or you are doubting him? I am not questioning the chief priest. I am only trying to open your eyes so that we can raise issues. Raise which issues? You cannot tell me you are opening my eyes when you know that I am fully awake. Please, don't get me involved in this. If you are truly awake, like you said, then you should know what I'm talking about. We are not making any point at all. Because the chief priest has been in the service of this kingdom he has been interfacing between the gods and men of this kingdom for almost three decades now without making a mistake. So why are you suddenly questioning him? Please, count me out. I'm not involved in this. I'm not involved. Hey, baby. <laughs> Oh, I, I have good news. I, I, I can't contain myself. Okay. I, Tell me, how did you do? Uh, I'm going to be the next king of Ezra Kingdom. That's a lie. Of course, you know I can do better than that. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying to that you. That means right now I am speaking with the chosen king. Yes, you are, and I am talking. To Queen Designate. Oh my god, I uh, love the way you just said that. Feels good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I see you're getting used to being a queen already. Uh? Exactly. You know, if my husband is the king, automatically I am queen. Look at you. Look oh! at you. 
Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> Look this, at you. This calls for celebration. Yes, baby. We will celebrate, but not, not just yet. When I return in the evening, I, I have a few people waiting for me at the office. I need to attend to them. But I just couldn't contain my joy. I had to come break the good news. Right. Okay. Okay, but you can at least eat. Yes, baby. I'll eat when I return. I hope that when you become queen, you have you have my time. Take care of me and talk about my appetite. I eh? hope you won't be too carried away with running the affairs of Israel Kingdom. Amen. Yes, baby. I'll be here for you. Plus, I came not just to break this good news, but to see your face. My lovely wife, I have missed you. Same here. God, I love this woman. Come here. <laughs> I love you right back. Uh, you know I can do this all day if you don't let me. <laughs> so let me just go and um, I'll be back. Uh, make a fun. Show sure it. Huh? <laughs> I'll be back. They didn't select you, right? And I'm wondering why they did not choose me. So who did they choose? Chukuka. Hi. It happened finally. And from the way things have unfolded, I am suspecting serious conspiracy. And that is exactly what the women have been saying, but nobody seems to be listening to. Now I am going to show them that I am an Ezra man. Not just an Ezra man, but an Ezra man who has spent all his life in this community. What nonsense! It is my right! It is. It is. But please calm down. Okay? You have to come and eat something. Okuma, calm down. Let me go set the table. Okay? And on that note of acceptance before the gods of our land, and on the note of acceptance that he is prepared to do the job, before the gods of his land, before our great ancestors, I declare you the chosen of the gods. Men of Ezra Kingdom, go and get prepared for the coronation of our incoming king. Can we, can we possibly start planning coronation when the women have refused to accept the one selected by the gods?
the women do not participate in the process of selection of kings. But there is no king who can rule without the woman. Does it mean the gods never approved Shukuka going to marry a strange woman? Or possibly, is it that they want us to go back to the days of Okukunde Shia? This is not happening. I have already positioned myself as the next queen of Ezira kingdom and nothing is going to change that. But why would the gods choose a man whose wife is not from Ezira kingdom as the next king? Knowing very well that the same woman will be the next queen of the land. <laughs> It has not happened before and will not start in our time. The right man must ascend the throne and my husband is that man. I have posted about this and I will not allow royalty slip from my fingers. If it means fighting for it, then we are going to fight to finish. Yes, I heard your husband was among the young selected men to stand the chance to be the next king of our kingdom, ah. is your kingdom. Is your... <laughs> My darling, you heard right. Ah. Yes, you know, my husband is royalty from birth. Mm -hmm. He was born into the family of kingmakers. <laughs> really? Yes. That means you stand the chance of becoming the next queen of our land. Exactly. Hi. Ogechi. Ogechi, you see why I like you so much? <laughs> I'm a new guy now. Look at me. I am Chazoka. The great, mm -hmm. oh, the God. one molded in the caliber of queens from Beth. Mm -hmm. And my husband, he stands taller than other young men when it comes to qualification, exposure, and strength of character. <laughs> mm. You are right. Mm. Mm. But you know, the gods do not look at those things. Why do they want to choose a king? Okay, let me ask you. What exactly do the gods look at when they want to choose a king? Listen, my father told me that the gods look at the heart of a man and not his physical qualifications or attributes. You are still basking in the euphoria of what your father told you. My darling, this is 21st century and the gods have mingled with gods from other parts of the world. And that has changed their mindset when it comes to choosing a king. Blasphemy. You just blasphemed against our gods. And I advise you withdraw your words. My dear, I do not lie. I do not. Even the gods know that I do not lie. Ogechi, I can't stay here and watch her insult our gods. Now, hold on now. Eh? It has not gotten to that. We were having a nice discussion before the issue of kingship came up. Just hold on. So if I may ask you, since when did the gods become your father and your mother that you will get this upset? When? Ogechi, I'm leaving. Bye-bye. Let her go. Go if you want to go. All right. I will leave. Yes, I will leave. But I advise you, 
Be careful not to put your husband into trouble. Get out! Listen. Now, my darling, look at me very well in case you did not look at me well before. I am Chazokam the Great. And I must become the queen of Ezira Kingdom. Come rain, come shine. So if you want to be in my train, you can sit down. But if you don't, Everything to become the next queen of this land. I, I mean, I can't bear the shame if I do not become the next queen of this land. That's the fool, the stranger positioning herself to be our queen. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> hey, manketa, menwe. So you want to be queen as well? Huh? How do you mean? So why did you not stop your husband from appearing before the chief priest for the selection of the next king of Ezira kingdom? Why would I stop my husband? And who told you that my husband went there on his own? He was invited as a royal son from the families of kingmakers. Oh, please shut up. Make you go on say. Listen. You want nobody to come to my land and talk to me about the traditions of my land. And a stranger, you will remain. I don't know where this is coming from. But I'd rather not be a part of it. Oh, as you are leaving with Bagiadeko Listen, just bear it in mind that your husband does not stand a chance at all. He can never be the next king of his Zira kingdom. Mm -mm. The chief priest has already made a statement and the process for selection has been concluded. Who are you to counter the chief priest? What a well introduction. Kampia Giano. Omobasu Dugu. Munyo Dogu Ada Ezira Kingdom One Ada Maka And I am married to the son of the soil So as an Ada who is married to the son of the soil One need for know that I have a huge say Well, let me make you understand this My husband is already king And ten of your type put together Cannot stop. Oh, one number, dear, dear. Who told you I want to stop your husband? Listen, your husband's marriage to you has already disqualified him from being the next king of this kingdom. <laughs> so you now know more than the chief priest. I'll leave that to your husband to educate you, okay? But just have it in mind that he does not stand a chance. What about Jazweje? Whatever that means. If you say so, congratulations. Did you just say congratulations? Thank you! Thank you so much! 
charge. You know what? When I become the queen, I am going to make you one of my maidens. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll also place you in charge of crayfish. I heard your people are so good with crayfish. Mmm. <laughs> Kisong is at me. Kisobasi. Yewu. From the depth of my heart. I wish you the best of luck. Get it for you, Anako. Nekwa manya. Isu kwa nko ma. Nisimu. Isu nko jo. Nisigi. Ina nukwa. Jide kwa nunki tunu na wanyi mba miri na kwari. Neno bia. Dicha no mukiga na wasala nya ki ipu ipu ipu. Up on Oboda, <laughs> we will see. Whether you like her, whether you know like her more, behold your queen, Lord, and behold your king. So whether you like her, whether you know like her more, What is it, baby? Amen. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I didn't want to disturb you about the dream. But my encounter with that woman made me understand that there is a connect. You know, I don't like to talk about that woman. I do not. What is it this time? What was the dream about? Okay, in the dream, I was being beaten up mercilessly. Hmm? I was begging, crying. She was there. Nobody wanted to listen to me. They didn't stop. Slow down. You were being beaten? Why? Did they tell you why they were attacking you? They were speaking your dialect, so I didn't understand what they were saying. But it was very clear that they were extremely angry with me. That's okay. Nothing will happen. Okay? Nothing will happen to you. Amen. Yes, baby. Please. I am afraid. You should not be afraid. Okay? Just um, mind your business. Do not get in their way. Try as much as you can not to cross paths with them. And I will assure you that no one would a finger against you. I'm here. And then you don't understand. These women were so upset with me. It was very clear that they wanted me out of this kingdom, out of their space. Don't you get what I'm saying? I get that it's a dream. <sighs> That's all it would be. A dream. Don't let it bother you. I am bothered. That's why I am afraid. Well, you should not be afraid. I am here protect you. In them, you are the love of my life. And no one would attack you, not while I am alive. I love you, baby. Okay? It's a dream. Whatever you saw would remain a dream. No one would raise a hand against you. That person would have to go through me first. Okay? I love you. Forever. Thank you for the assurance. <laughs> Forever. Alright. Try it something. Come on. Come on, come on. Don't starve now. I like the way the spice. You just have a way of, you know, just making it perfect. <laughs> mm. Your fried chicken so well. Yes. 
And I, I believe the time has come for us to get down to business. May I know why this visit? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Chief Obidike. No. We have been thinking, after the gods made choice of their next king of this kingdom, things have not been in proper places. So that is why we have come to you to discuss. Things have not been in proper places. Yes. Is your good, that's a very strong thing to say. Could you be lenient enough and explain what you mean by that? Yes. From all indications, the chief priest made a mistake in his pronouncement. And we need to go back to him for proper clarification. Ichi Aguru, I am not going to allow my house to be the place where this kind of thing is discussed. Uh, we must have to be careful the kind of things we say so that it will not appear as if we are challenging the chief priest. Ichi Obidike, he is not telling us to challenge the chief priest. He only said we should go meet the chief priest so that we can get more clarifications. More clarifications on what? The chief priest spoke in a very clear language. And everything he said was very clear. It is not clear enough. That is why we have to go see the chief priest for further explanations. Well, uh, you see, Mbono, you have said your own. That's your opinion, and you are entitled to your opinion. But what I'm saying is that I, Chief Obidike, understood exactly what the chief priest said the time he spoke. And I'm not going to go back to him asking him to explain. But if you suggest, if you are suggesting now that uh, you want to go back and uh, ask him to speak again, I don't have a problem with that. You can go. Uh, chief Obidike, do we not take it that uh, this is your own way of telling us that you will not go with us. It's going to be stupid of a man of my caliber to go back to a man asking the man to explain what the man has already explained. It doesn't make sense. I don't want this to cause problem amongst us. Eche, mm -hmm. we shall go back to the chief priest. Settle down. She won't be the game. Once again, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> on, the, on, on the road. road. On the road. On the road. Elders <laughs> of Ezra Kingdom, I am trying so hard to understand why you people are not preparing to coronate the chosen of the gods. We are actually here to seek your clarification concerning the so-called chosen of the gods. And why did you refer to him as so-called chosen? That young man is indeed the chosen of the gods. We are not trying to challenge you, chief priest. But there are happiness in Ezira suggesting that the young man may not be the rightful person to the crowned king. Wise one. I am actually thinking he is wrongly chosen. The gods of this land cannot choose someone like him. And why do you say someone like him? Uh, wise one. We all know that the wife of any man who becomes the king automatically becomes the queen of the land. Hmm? To the best of our knowledge, as a matter of fact, as it is known in the well-kept history of Ezra Kingdom, only the daughters of the land, full-blooded daughters of the land, have emerged queens. The gods, if you must be told, may have decided to 
do otherwise this time. The only permanent thing in the universe is change. The gods may have decided otherwise this time around. Please. I think there's a mystic somewhere. We humbly suggest you reconsult the gods for proper clarification. Uh, there is no mistake anywhere. For the gods do not make mistakes. The gods spoke to me expressly on who will be the next king of Ezra kingdom. And that person is no other person than Chukuka, the son of Osemeka, the grandson of Okwabamili. Do all you can. In fact, do the needful. Make all the necessary preparations towards the coronation of the new king of this land. I will personally be there to hand him over the offer, the ancient and noble symbol, the staff of the kings of Ezira. Wise one, can you please reconsult the gods? The gods have spoken, and they have spoken. Don't get yourself involved in a second reign, for you will catch cold. Listen. May the gods forbid that I, the shepherds of this land, will speak to you from the both sides of my mouth. The gods spoke, and I spoke, and that settles it. No! What we feared most is about to happen. Our right is about to be taken away from us and given to a woman who does not belong to this land. We men of Ezira Kingdom, we are not going to allow anyone take away our right. Yes. We are about to be relegated to the background and that must not happen. Yes. Even our forefathers did not do that. Hmm. This is serious. We all know what is about to happen to us. The question now is, what must we do to stop it from happening? My dear. This is it. We are going to issue a statement. A man who is not married to a daughter of the soil cannot even be a member of the men in council. Ma not to talk about being a king. Yeah, no, I disagree. What do you mean by you disagree? Let me ask you. Are you going to allow a woman who is not from this land become your queen? No, 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 no. May the gods forbid it. My dear, keep the gods away from this. We are going to fight. It is our fight. Yes. Yes. And we must win. Of course. Yes. My point is that emphasis should be on the king. Including the men in council in our statement would mean taking that too far. And we don't need that now. Uh, she has a point there, yes, 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 yes. We can actually may not be prevent the birds from flying, but can prevent them from perching on our heads. Can't you communicate without using emphasis and proverbs? Can't you? If a daughter of the soil is not communicating in proverbs, Eh? That means she is not the true daughter of the soil. Simple. My point is this, my dear. Our men can continue to bring in strange women to our land in marriage, yes. but they will never sit on the throne as king. Yes! The chief priest has refused to burn by reconsulting the gods. What do you think we can do? Nothing, nothing. How do you mean by nothing? 
To me, I believe there is no chief priest who will say the God says this and the God says that when they have not actually spoken to him. It is unacceptable to me. Totally unacceptable. How can we allow a total stranger, a woman from another land, to become the queen of our kingdom? It's unacceptable. Same feelings, yeah. But the truth be told, mm -hmm. since he said the gods have spoken to him, mm -hmm. let us leave it like that and respect his choice. Yes, respect the choice of the gods only when it is in conformity with our tradition and custom. It is beginning to appear to me that you have a plan. Can you lead me into that plan? No, no, no. No, not, not a plan. It's just, just a suggestion. Can I hear it? Well, it's not much. The suggestion is, Shukuka should immediately marry another woman. A daughter of this land. A full-blooded daughter of this land. Who becomes his queen after his queen. And that settles it. It's your guru. <laughs> now I know why they call you the master planner. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> you are right. And I totally agree with you. And I know he will not have any problem with that. <laughs> He'll show you the master planner. <laughs> no, seriously, now why? What happened? Nothing. Rose? Rose? Excuse me. Oh, my friend. Hold on. Yes, what is it? Please sit. What is it? The women are ganging up against him. Why? They said you want to take what rifle belongs to them. Oh, I'm aware. Chezokam already confronted me with it. What did she tell you? Imem, remember I wanted to mention it to you earlier, but you said you weren't prepared to listen. I'm ready to listen now. What did she say to you? She said I am positioning myself for the queenship of this kingdom. And I'm wondering, how am I positioning myself for the queenship? Your husband will soon become the king of this land. And you will sit by his side as his queen. They are insisting it will never happen. They are ready to do anything to stop it. It's fine, Rose. Thank you for the information. We appreciate it. Okay, sir. Thank you. I'll see you later. Oh. That dream I had is about to become a reality. They will beat me up. And you will not be able to do anything. In them. Nothing will happen to you. Not while I'm still alive. Okay? If the gods have chosen me to be the next king of Israel kingdom, when that time comes, you will be sitting by my side. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. You sound as if you haven't been listening to everything we're saying. What are you saying? I am saying that we had a plan to stay positive and happy until the coronation. My love, we are going to stick to that plan. Okay, baby, keep the focus. I got you. Chosen by 
One is problem. my sister done that makes you refer to her as a gold digger? Your sister has done everything. She has done everything. Just tell her I said she should retrace her steps else. <laughs> Can you please tell me in clear terms what she did wrong? I just told you your sister wants to reap where she did not sow. But we, the women of Ezira, we will never allow that happen. Lie, lie, we can never allow that. Mwanye Mwangu can never be queen over us. Omame. Okay, so that is what my sister did wrong, right? It's fine. I heard you. I'm going to tell her what you said. Mm. Make sure you tell her. 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 Go back to Mwangu. Don't you people have young men over there? Why are you coming here? Eh? Osanyi mweru mwake maru matorogo nogo mwerego. Go back to your village. Onye mamwe bota rano nketa kosi. Go back to your village. You live our village for us. Your sister can never be queen. Lai lai, tell her I said that. Me chasoka, I will never allow her to be queen. Mwada kuja kwa nakuja u. Otupo di mwono. Your sister will never be queen. Yey. What's that, dear? What kind of people are this? Eh? Mong people. Kwa anon kita wa hana ata. Mwa ato po kwa mwa anon. Mwa bose kan kita wa ni kwa He insisted the girls do not make a mistake. Am I not vindicated? I knew it. He was going to say exactly that. All of us grew up in this kingdom. Starting from when we were young to now that we are men living in this town. Have we ever seen or have we ever heard it that the girls made a mistake? Not at all. We have not. But, Chief, the path chosen by the gods this time will tear the kingdom apart. How do you mean? The women of this kingdom will vehemently resist a stranger, a total foreigner from another land, to preside over their affairs. 
Good enough. You personally told me that they have accosted you. We are very convinced that Ezra will be overwhelmed by problems. You know the women. Any cause they decide to fight, we always end in their favor. Well, I need, it to, I need us to understand that the women of this kingdom are the women of this kingdom. And we are the men of this kingdom. And we are not going to prevent our women from exploring themselves. We have to allow the women, let them explore their exuberance. I don't think it is right for the men to find a way to stand before the women to prevent them from doing what they want to do. If that happens, it is going to backfire. She forbid again. Yes, you've made a point, but not in all cases. Women you will agree with me are like children. If we allow the women to take decision in this case, they wouldn't be able to arrive at any good decision. But if we men step into it to decide over it, we would be able to arrive at the best decision in this case. So can you brief me on this wise decision you believe you are going to take for the women or for the kingdom that is going to be the best? Chukuka, we have to take another wife from this soil. A maiden whose parents are from this kingdom. Well, you have a point. Uh, but don't you think that something as heavy as a man taking a second wife is a decision the man must have to make by himself and not the one that people will make and impose on him? Don't you think? Yes, you are right. But we have a strong belief that if you speak with him, since he has great respect for you and you have great influence upon him, he will be able to do the needful. Well, like I said already, the decision of a man deciding to go and take a second wife is one the man must be allowed to make by himself. Look at me. Jifo Bidike. I have only one wife. My moment of Colombia that we all know. She's the one I've been marrying since. Do you now think that I am the right person who will leave his house and go to another man's house to ask him to take a second wife? You really think so? Sure. Well, if you men believe that Chukuka taking a second wife is the best way to solve this problem, I want you to go to him and mention that to him. I want you to make that suggestion to him without mentioning my name. Sister, Tiero, Amelia, yes, sister. Mm. Your food is in the kitchen. Okay, thank you. Ah, that reminds me, sister. Can, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Um, sister, do you by chance have a problem with anybody in this village? No. So why are they saying that you want to take what rightfully belongs to the women of this village? And here we don't on the semicolon. Who said that? Um, a woman. What's what's her name? Uh, Chi Chiza Chiza. I don't know. She bumped into me on my way coming back to the house. She said, your sister wants to take what rightfully belongs to the women of this land. And so I asked her, what is that thing that rightfully belongs to the women of this land that my sister wants to take? Okay, the thing is, my husband has been chosen to be king of this kingdom. Really? And if he becomes king, automatically, I would be queen. So the women of this land do not want me to be queen over them. But, but sister, do you have an idea about the custom and tradition? I mean, what it entails to become queen of this kingdom? I heard the queen must be a daughter of the soil. Sister, Ekamba from Adodo. Hmm. That Ekamba, Idogito. Very serious problem. <sighs> I went to your house and your wife told me you went out. Yes. 
So it's not been long I left the house. So what are you doing here? I just want to take some time out. Be on my own and strategize. Strategize on what place? On how to become the next king of this kingdom. I don't understand. How do you mean? Exactly what you heard, my friend. The gods made a terrible mistake of their choice of Chukoka. And I want to take advantage of that and become the king of this kingdom. I disagree with you. I disagree with you for saying that the gods made mistake. No! We both know that the gods are too wise and can never make mistakes. <laughs> That's in this contest. I want you to reason and think like a real man of Ezira who has the blood of Ezra running in his veins. All right. Prove it. I mean, prove to me that the gods are wrong in their selection. Beautiful. I'm sure you are aware that the king and queen of this land must be son and daughter of the soil. Yes, you're correct. Fine. Now, the gods have gone the wrong way by choosing a son of the soil whose wife is not a daughter of the soil. What does that mean to you? Yes, you're, you're actually right. Idara is from Akwaibon and cannot become the queen of this land. Wow. Now you understand what I'm saying, my friend. Let us take over this land. And I will reward you handsomely if we win. Join forces with me. Let us fight. And if we win this war... Hey, 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 hey. hey. Count me out. I should go to contest with the gods. The gods have made their choice. And we are supposed to respect it. Anyway, I was looking for you so that we can go and congratulate Chukoka. I will not do that kind of nonsense. I will not try it. Mamwa. You requested to see me. Yes. Abangwa is not happy with you. I can tell. But have you been able to ascertain why he's not happy? Um, first, he is not happy that you you're going to become the king. Mm. And secondly, he has a plan to make himself the king. That is sad. If Abamwe is so desperate to become king, I suggest that he prays hard, very hard to the gods to choose him. I did not ask for this. I will be happy to go back to my normal life and business. You know, not for once have I ever bribed anyone to be chosen to be king of Israel kingdom. You were there when I was chosen. Yeah. I know everything, so you don't need to explain. But I'm just telling you this for you to be very careful. I understand. I thank you too. It means a lot to know that I can always count on you to look out for me. Thank you. It's, it's fine. It's fine. What are you doing here? I heard there was an opening invitation for the women, so I decided to come. Now listen to me. This invitation is not just for women. It is for the women of the soil. Yes. Now let me ask you. 
Ebo mwa fwa na. Ona enem. Are you a woman of the soil? Listen. Idara or whatever they call you. The invitation is for the daughters of the soil. Umu adam ulu no boda. And not for strangers like you. But by virtue of my marriage to a son of the soil, I am also a part of this kingdom. Yes. Mm -hmm. You lie. By virtue of marriage, you are part of us. But by core inheritance, you are not part of us. Is the neighbor part of us? Where is your two rappers? They do quite for now, buddy. You don't need any other explanation. Mm -mm. So leave. Right now. I cannot leave because you didn't invite me here. Madam, will you shut up? Say who would descend on you if you don't leave here at once? Leave here. Do you think we are I never I know not about they make it up. See, see. Oh, you see, Papa Guacanelo. Papa Guacanelo. I'm going to be on the other one. I'm going to This is not even right. This was an open invitation. Listen. I'm not going to be a baby. I'm not going to be a kiss. 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 Live here right now. This is not fair. This is absolutely not fair. Even if I am not going to win, can't I just take part? Leave this place right now. Please leave her to join us. Please. Leave this place now. After the successful selection of the new queen, what happens to the old one? To the best of my knowledge, a queen remains a queen until she dies. So the selection today is to identify the new queen. If we have two queens praying for the women of Ezra Kingdom on each of the Ekuku market days, I don't think there is anything wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong. We can have a sense of prayers. Uh, hey, that's the one you see. Uh, the, the chief priest has already assured us. And he says you know exactly what to do to identify who the next queen is. So we are hoping that you will do it, and we trust you to do it, to the very best of your knowledge. But I believe when it is done that you, you are going to give us feedback, right? Of course. As a matter of fact, this has become imperative because of the agitations from the women. But ideally, the king's wife should become the queen automatically. Uh, but seeing that the kite has learned how to fly without patience, we, the shooters, have equally learned how to shoot without aiming. That's it. Let us continue what we have started, just to fulfill all righteousness and the lower orders. Eh? <laughs> Very well then. Whatever happens, it will all end today. By the will and mercies of the gods, we will know our designated queen today. Say, he say. <laughs> When no day he ne when you will go for eh? Why are you this stubborn? Go home now. This invitation is not for you. Can you the help me, Henka? Maybe we should allow her to take part. Mad up again, Rao. Mad up again, Ra. Don't even say that. Why will you say that? She's not part of us, so she has to leave. To treat her like that. It's very unfair. See, don't I'm get me angry. Yeah. You can swear relinquish your position for her. Since you want to be a good person. Yes, yeah, so that is the right thing to do. Since you want her to partake in this show, just relinquish your position for her. Since you want her to partake in this show, just relinquish your position for her. I will do it. Yes, eh? I will do it. I can't watch you people treat her like that simply because she's not a, a, a daughter of the soil. Secretary, Adam Yara. Hey, Igara, come and take my place. No, no, please. I'm not desperate to partake in this show. Greetings, 
Greetings, Greetings, your, Greetings your, your majesty. Greetings, women of the Zero Kingdom. Why are you there? Why are you not on the queue with them? They said I cannot partake because I'm not a daughter of the soul, your majesty. Please come. What is about to happen here is open to everyone. This is simple. Whoever is able to step into the circle of the gods without wavering is the chosen one. And is automatically qualified to go on a journey with me. As I make the circle right now, There is no need jolting. I can assure you that everyone here is qualified to give it a try. Starting from you. Step into the circle of the gods. Obviously, you are rejected by the gods. Hi. Next. Next person. the chosen one. taking me to to the sacred place what are we going there to do i am going to show you the core duty of every queen of azira kingdom we normally visit the ancestral hut to make supplication on every ekuku market day my duty is to my husband not to the unseen 
The queen of Ezira kingdom is not considered as every other woman or like any other woman. Rather, she is considered as a woman on a mission. Woman on a mission? Yes. I don't understand. Young lady, when we get there, you will understand everything. There is no time. Let's go. She's the chosen queen of the Zira kingdom. I am chosen by the gods. I am no one can stop me. I am. Do not be afraid, my dear. What are we doing here? Huh? If you calm down, we will leave here very soon. and do exactly what I just did. the sacred mantle of queens in Ezira. Am I no longer qualified? Put your mind into it. Settle it in your heart that you are the queen already. I'll go for it. Okay. I have already settled it in my heart. I know I can do this. what I'm about to do. Her husband has already been named king as my husband was. Therefore, it is only normal for her to be the next queen of a Zira kingdom. And that cannot be possible unless you give her the blessings of the sacred mantle of queens of a Zira kingdom. This is all what I ask from you. Go for it. Be bold. Go for it. That is it. Does it mean I have passed the test? You are going to be queen after me. 
and nothing absolutely nothing is going to change it congratulations the great queen of azira kingdom <laughs> congratulations i am not convinced why i was rejected the first instance before you intervened why because you're not a daughter of the soil of the Zira kingdom. That means the controversy is well rooted. Yes. And no. How do you mean? There will be controversy if you are not converted as a daughter of the soil through the Okuku Ndichie of a Zira. But there will be no controversy if you are converted. What is Okuku, Okuku DJ? With time, you will understand everything you need to know about royalty. But first, your husband remains your head. And you will become the authority of the women of Ezira. Every Okuku market day, that is the AK of the month, when the moon is full, you will be here to pray for the women of Ezira. There will be disaster if you fail. You cannot control it. have slept off. Thank God it's a dream. Dream? You were dreaming? Yes. <sighs> what is the dream all about? Is it not that witch? Eh? She did not only bribe the men in council, but she also bribed one new corner the queen to make her the queen of Ezira kingdom. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, my husband, just calm down. My father did not name me Chia Zokam for nothing. Yes, I will resist them. I will fight them with the last drop of my blood. I am your husband. And I have the right to know what is going on. Mm-hmm. By now, I'm expecting that many council of Ezra Kingdom would have invited a DB Alpha so that we confirm the spiritual background. Why have you not done that? Wise one, please. I'm sorry. At this point, I am lost. What do you mean by check his spiritual background? Are you suspecting that the young man is not spiritually sound? to be a king, yet you went ahead to name him our king? The gods named him our king, not me. Yes. It is the duty of the elders in council to do a thorough checking, to confirm. Check his spiritual background and confirm if he has an abomination committed sometime then a cleansing to be done. Then such cleansing should be carried out before he becomes the custodian of the greater for the kings. Wise one, if the young man already has an abomination hanging on his neck, why did the gods choose him? I never said abominable. 
Do not put words into the mouth of the gods. Don't! You elders of the Zera Kingdom. Don't put words into the mouth of the gods. The one with an abomination can still be named. But uh, such a person cannot become a custodian with that abomination. The gods have named him already. It is for you to invite Adibia for who will check thoroughly his spiritual background. Who will do further consultations with his Ugili. The coronation will be coming up the next Ekuku Market Day. Uh, well, as I was saying, I want to personally thank you for this wonderful information you have given us. Uh, we are going to do exactly what you have instructed. Uh, wait a minute, Obideke. Who are the we you are saying? We? Men. I hope we are not proposing to include my name among the men who will go out there to cleanse the abomination committed by another man. If we are not cleaning the abomination, who will clean it? Wise one. If he has committed an abominable act, why did the gods choose him in the first place? Elders of the Kingdom. I said, check his spiritual background. Check his spiritual background. I am already feeling challenged by men who are not supposed to challenge me. Retrace your steps. Retrace your steps before I forget that we are brothers. Kidara, how are you? Very well, my queen. You didn't tell me you were coming. I also didn't know I'll be coming here. I came with a message from the gods. I hope it is for good. Of course it is for good. Here. Take it. Keep it safe. And make sure no one takes it away from you. What will I do with it? It's part of what you need in your journey to where you ought to be in the nearby future. Okay, my queen. No. Don't try to open it. You cannot see the contents of the bag until you're converted. Huh? Converted into what? No more questions, Sidara. No more questions. Don't try to open the contents of the bag. Else you'll go blind. Mm. Then I do not need the bag, please. Adhering to the instruction as simple as not trying to check the content of this bag is part of your training. If you wish to become the queen of this great Ezira kingdom, then you must learn to keep secrets. This is already tough. I can't keep secrets. My dear Idara, I do not know what you are thinking about. But it might interest you to know that being the next queen of this great Azira kingdom is not a simple task. First, you must be converted. And above all, you must learn to keep secrets. Learn to keep secrets. Why am I always seeing her?
The dream is a clear indication that Idara is favored by the gods to emerge the next queen of the land. But I can pick holes from what happened in the dream. And from there I can put myself on the seat. First, the gods rejected her by not allowing her step into the circle of supplication. It is a way to show that the revered position of the queen of Ezira kingdom is specifically kept for daughters of the soil. Secondly, the queen used strong words to calm the forces before she was able to step in. That means she cannot command the spirits that are always coming to destroy the women. Hmm. These are loopholes. And I will use them and make myself queen. <laughs> but what is Ukukundichi? We'll be here for more than 30 minutes. Maybe you should call him again. No, no, no. No point calling him. Why? To avoid suspicion. Uh, uh, Nietzsche. Um, um, good afternoon. I greet you. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry I ran a bit late. Uh, no problem. Really sorry. No problem. Yes. Thank you. Uh, we will hit the nail on the head immediately so that you can set your hands on purpose. Oh yes, uh, Ichi, I'll be quite happy. Um, I'm happy to update you that um, DB Alpha has just confirmed that I do not have any kind of abomination on me, so I will not be needing to come in for any kind of cleansing. Uh, so as it is, I am very much um, <laughs> pumped up and I'm prepare, preparing for the, for the big day. Uh, um, of, unless, of course, um, there is any kind of obstacle, I think that we are good to go. And what will you do if, if there is any obstacle? Uh, <laughs> Richie, I'll be happy to let you know that I am not desperate to become king. I already have a thriving business. I have a happy family. I have a good life as it is. Uh, if it's an obstacle that I can, uh, that is surmountable, why not? We'll take care of it together and move on. But if there's also something that um, I believe is beyond me, I'll be happy to go back home and mind my business. Let me tell you why you are someone here. It is not crystal clear that you are the chosen one by the gods. We are thankful to the gods for having chosen a man of character. Competence and courage has been chosen but uh, there is still a bot. Uh, that bot is why we summoned you. I, I assume that this bot is an obstacle. Our tradition forbids you ascend the throne without the woman from this kingdom. It has never happened before, and it will never happen in our own time. And we have a soft landing spot for you. You will immediately start looking for another way. Who becomes your queen once you are coronated as the king? What did I just hear? Of course, you heard him clearly. Start looking for a wife. Just have a few days to do so. And remember, that new wife must be a daughter of this kingdom. A full-blooded daughter of this kingdom. Your strange wife continues to be your wife, but unfortunately, she cannot partake in the spiritual refreshment of our women. Tuga, how are you today? Ah, uh, well, I... I cannot say that I am fine, Chief. Why did you say that? I just came out of a meeting. Chief Mbono and Chief Okoro. And they told me that I have to marry a second wife if I have to be king. 
what reason did they give? Well, they said that our tradition forbids a woman that is not from our tribe from becoming queen of Ezira kingdom, you know. The Libya said yesterday that uh, your father mentioned something to you before he died. And as at that time, you were not able to remember exactly what it was. Yes, he said something, to, but is that connected to this? What did your father tell you? Well, he told me that um, should kingship knock on my door, that I may not be able to that I may not be able to sit on the throne of Ezra Kingdom. Sounded rather strange, but that that was all he told me. It is possible that we may have resolved this puzzle. So what do you intend to do now? Chief. Papa! Papa! Oh! Hey, hey. Papa. My daughter. Hey, Papa. Hey. You are welcome. Fine. Thank you, Papa. How are you? Papa, I am fine. How was your trip? Papa, it was fine. Well, thank God. I, I, it's like you came with the first boss. Uh -uh, Papa, mm. immediately you called me. Mm. Eh? Mm. From the way you, you signed over the phone. Mm. I had to leave whatever I was doing to come down to come and see you. Oh, you yes. Done well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Papa. You are welcome. Thank you. Uh, drop your bag, eh? We have something urgent to discuss. Eh, yes. Okay. Mm. I will be waiting for you there. All right, Papa. Thank you there. Okay. Yeah. Hey. you are the one who is going to become the king in Israel. The mere fact that you have been chosen means you are an insane. No two words about it. And no matter what, an insane must eat cola. I'm asking you to drink something in my house. Nobody has died. Chief. I must tell you that um, at the moment I am confused. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. So if marrying a second wife will cripple this man and they shut their mouths, are you telling me you're not going to do it? To be honest, Chief, I do not think that polygamy is evil, given that it's part of our tradition as Africans, you know? So I am understanding that to mean you have made up your mind to take a second wife and become king? No, 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 no. That's not what I have said. Uh, what I am saying is that um, polygamy is not um, as evil as people see it, especially Christians. You know, uh, my only problem with polygamy is the trouble that comes with it. So you are saying... Uh, you foresee a situation where you will not be able to take care of all these troubles that come with polygamy when you are, when you are king? Well, I just said that I am threading carefully. I have seen kings and great men go down because of the troubles that come with polygamy. So, automatically you are saying you are not even going to give it a trial? I am confused, Chief. I love my wife with all of my heart. Idara is the love of my life and I do not want to be distracted by another woman. So what is our conclusion from this? I am confused as you know. I would beg for more time. Give me a day to think about this and I'll get back to you. That's the problem. The Ekuku market day is still very far because the moon is still very tender. You have all the time. Thank you very much for 
for your support at all times. You are welcome. We do everything for the gods, for I am convinced that we are nothing without the gods. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for always coming around. Thank you. I appreciate that. I hope I did not disrupt your activities in the city. Not at all, Papa. God. You are welcome. Thank you, Papa. <clears throat> yes, an issue at hand that is very important. Go ahead, I'm listening to you. God. The queenship of this kingdom is up for grabs. And I want you to go for it. <laughs> Papa, mm -hmm. how is that going to be possible? Because I know we have a queen who is still very much alive. Yes. So how is it going to be possible? Oh, a queen who has lost her husband cannot be a queen forever. Yes, Papa. Mm -hmm. She will stop being the queen. Mm -hmm. Immediately a new king emerges. We were told that the girls were angry over how we treated the late king. And as a punishment, that there will be no king in the land of Ezira Kingdom. <laughs> yes. A daughter of the land is speaking. Oh, she knows everything. I'm impressed. Thank you, Papa. Ah, yes. We have been forgiven by the gods. And as a matter of fact, a new king has been chosen. Wow. Papa, a lot has really happened. Yes. And uh, I called you back because of the queenship. I want you to go for it. Papa. Hmm? That sounds so interesting. Hmm. Now, who is this chosen king that you want me to marry? Oh. See, the identity of the chosen king is of no importance as of now. Hmm? The important thing now is, are you ready to be the next queen of this kingdom? Papa, the thing here is that I've always dreamt of being the next queen of this kingdom. Mm. But I think that is a thing of the past now. I'm no longer interested in all of those things, yeah. How do you mean? Oh, Papa, mm. as it is right now, mm. I'm in a very serious relationship. And that relationship stops here and now. My plan for you is to become the queen of this kingdom. Papa? Mm? Did you, did you just say that to me? Yes. I did not just talk to you as your father, but as Ichie Ogoro. Eh? A very powerful man of this kingdom. And whatever I say is fine now. <laughs> Long live the new king of Ezra kingdom. <laughs> You're welcome to the board of the chief priest. As a more, I must say that I am surprised they still address me as an incoming king. I missed all the resistance from the people of Israel. <laughs> Those who resist the decision of the gods may be consumed, destroyed by the gods. Why are you here? I am here because the people are beginning to make me feel that the gods made a mistake choosing me as the next king. Yeah. And do you think they are right? I don't know, is it more? That's why I have come to see you. Hmm. Speak to me in the moods of a king. Yes. So what troubles you? My wife is not from here. My wife is a woman that I met. I know. Your wife is from Uyu. That I already know. And the gods know as well. So, go ahead with what you are saying. Ezemo, if you have that information, then why should I bother to go into further explanation as to why I'm here? For as we all know, Every maiden that has gone ahead to become a queen of Ezra kingdom have always been a daughter of the soil and my wife is not from here. If the gods have decided to make you the new king of Ezra kingdom, whatever your wife is coming from is irrelevant. For the gods already know that your wife is not from 
This is our kingdom. So what then do you advise that I do um, against the idea of picking a second wife? Oh, the choice is yours. The gods are interested in you becoming the king and not your wife. One thing that even my enemies give to me is that I will always identify the truth. And each time I identify the truth, I align myself with that truth. You see, this very topic that borders on disobeying the express order made by the chief priest, I don't want to get involved in it. Chief Obidike, how can you say that? A great injustice has been met head on the women of this kingdom. And you are telling us that you do not want to get involved. Huh? Where then is the truth that you claim that you align with? She has come. Partnering with women and disgruntled elements of this kingdom to challenge the order of the priest is the truth to speak of. All we want you to do is to use your good offices to cancel the coronation process. See, Chibuka cannot become king. He cannot ascend the throne with a woman who is not from this kingdom. In the history of Ezira kingdom, mm -hmm. a king has never ascended a throne with a woman who is not from this kingdom. It has never happened. Well, a coronation that is already faced by the chief priest cannot be cancelled by a man like me. In fact, there is nobody who can stop the chief priest of this kingdom except the gods. Chief Obidiki. The voice of the people is the voice of the gods. We know we are women, but we are going to stop him. We will. You know, a woman like you who is menstruating every other month cannot actually stop. Even the children masquerade from doing whatever thing they want to do. And now you are telling me in my living room that you have all it takes to challenge the chief priest? No, is that what you're saying? Chief, we are not challenging anyone. Cha cha. Our minds are made up already. If you continue with the coronation process, we'll come after whomever that's involved. Full stop. Should I understand this to mean that you are threatening me in my living room? Nobody is challenging you. Nobody. I just want you to know that the women of this land must fight for their right. And they will stop at nothing until the right thing is done. You know what? I am done with this meeting. Chief Obidike, you cannot be done with this meeting. You cannot be done with this meeting. Three men were chosen from three different families of kings. They were presented to the gods to be chosen. The gods chose Chukuka. Who will now see is a big error. Yes. Be mindful of your language, woman. The gods do not make mistakes. But they have already made mistakes, Chief Obidike. Yes, they, they did. They have. Yes. And it is clear for all to see. Do you know what? I encourage you to go ahead and stop this coronation that is feast. You disagree with the chief priest and you believe that the gods have made a mistake. Bring on whatever thing you have in your arsenal and succeed in stopping this very coronation. And I will believe that the gods have indeed made a mistake. I'm not, I'm not keeping secrets from you. Then, Imam, what is bothering you? Nothing. I'm fine. All right, I've had a long day. I just, I just want to go in and rest. I will not leave this place until you tell me what the problem is. Sister, stay out of this. Inem, did you just say that to me? Yes, I did. And that's exactly what would happen. 